is a quick look at two nice theorems. One we refer to as the ratio theorem. Um, and what the ratio theorem does is it uh, says that if you've got a triangle ABC and then a point D somewhere on uh, side BC, then BD over DC is equal to AB over AC times uh, the sine of BAD over the sine of BAC. Um, and this is a generalized version of the more commonly used angle bisector theorem, which says that if uh, AD is an angle bisector, then it's BD to DC is uh, the same as AB to AC. So the way we prove this is using area. Um, we know that BD over DC equals the area of BAD over the area of BAC. And that is because BD and DC are on the same line, and A, A is the third vertex in both of their triangles. That means the altitude from A to that line is the same for both triangles. So when you um, calculate area, their area, the only difference is the ratio of those two lengths, the baseline, baseline. Then we can also, and we'll call this x and y for now, just to make it easier, but it's angle BAD and angle DAC. We can also calculate the area of these two. So the area of x and y of BAD is simply going to be one half AD times AD times the sine, and actually we'll just write it as BA, uh, BAD, angle BAD, over the area of DAC, which is one half um, AD times AC times the sine of BAC. And you can see that the one halves cancel, the ADs cancel, and that leaves you with BD over DC is equal to AB over AC, and then that's times the sine of the two angles. BAD and BAC. If AD is an angle bisector, then the sine of BAD and the sine of BAC is going to be the same, so those cancel out, which um, shows or proves the angle bisector. So very nice theorem um, about um, the ratio of BD to DC based on um, that Chevian. All right, um, the area formula um, then uh, says if you had another random point, it doesn't matter where the point is, um, P uh, in this triangle, and so on AD, um, then the area of BPA and APC is actually also equal to that ratio. And there are a couple of ways uh, that you can go through and prove this. Um, but the, the, the best is to basically do the same thing we just did, um, which is take our, our ratio that we've got, BD over DC equals AB times sine angle BAD, and AC times sine angle DAC, and realize that if I add a one half and add AP to both of these, which is okay to do because one half, if I add one half AP to the, or multiply by one half AP to the numerator and the denominator, I get one half AP AB sine of BAD, which is just the area that by itself equals the area of APD. And then one half AP times AC sine of DAC equals the area of PA, APC, which proves our theorem. And so these two are connected together because of how easy it is to use the first one to prove the second, and are both very useful, in particular, in proving a very important theorem called Chevy's theorem.